Utilizing time series charts to display your environmental data and trends over time is one of the more important visualization tools a scientist can have. Oftentimes, they can be difficult to create or to aggregate your information in a usable form. Using Equus as your environmental data management software, you can store historical and current data in the same data warehouse, allowing users to visualize trends and display data grouped in a variety of helpful ways. Can you show some examples, you ask? Of course I can. In Equus Enterprise, the web-based portal to the database, the time series chart allows users to display one or more data sets as a time series and supports automatic grouping of data by series, such as parameters or locations. The trending chart is highly configurable, allowing users to define the titles, axes, legends, colors, and more. Data can be displayed as lines or areas, splines or columns. On these two example time series charts, we are comparing various attributes for the same location or various locations for the same attribute. Each series can be displayed on a shared axis or on separate axes based on user-defined settings. I'm able to interact with the time series chart to narrow the timeline and turn on and off series-specific data. I am also able to output the data in a variety of formats, including CSV, image, and PDF files. On these two trending charts, we are again looking at the same data, but plotted as lines with markers rather than columns. On both of these charts, each compound has its own y-axis to display the data for the appropriate range based on the concentrations. However, on the left, the trend lines are using a shared graph display, whereas on the right, each series has been stacked to provide three graphs on the same visual. Hovering the mouse over the chart will display a tooltip containing the series name, value, and unit at the current point on the time axis. I'm also able to identify when results were below the detection limit by using open markers. Another example of a plot display includes area splines such as these trending charts. This time series chart has been configured to display the data in comparison to warning level and action level limits over time to visualize trends and easily identify the breaches. This trending chart has been configured to clearly distinguish when the values recorded fall above or below a specified limit. Perhaps there is a need to display multiple data series on the same chart to facilitate analysis of the relation between attributes. Utilizing different plot styles can aid in the comparison of the data. For example, this chart shows the relationship of mercury levels, both upstream and downstream of an outfall point, plotted as lines. Precipitation data has been added to the graph as a second data series and plotted as columns. This provides the ability to identify how precipitation in the area may affect the concentration change of mercury, both upstream and downstream. Ultimately, Equus is here to transform raw data into easily identifiable trends in the form of time series charts. Time series charts can be configured to automatically update as new data is loaded to the database without the need to reconfigure the display. Therefore, the viewer will always be able to see the most up-to-date information as soon as new data is uploaded. Want to know more how Equus can simplify your workflow and automatically evaluate trends in your data? You can contact us at sales at .com. If you would like to learn more about the solutions Equus can provide, visit the Earthsoft page at www.earthsoft.com. We look forward to hearing from you.